I'd say that apart from Minecraft's 1x1 one one meter cubes, it is its colour which is the most important aspect of it. Like, if you take away all its colour, and yes I'm referring to Hugh here, Minecraft just wouldn't be the same, because the colours are what make all the blocks unique. Everyone obviously perceives colour just a bit differently, and I know this is sort of obvious, but still, is this normal cobblestone, or is this mossy cobblestone? Is this actually just iron armour, or is this actually diamond armour? And why do all the wood blocks look the same? I'm really sorry if I confuse Minecraft's colour and texture in this video. They are sort of very similar and couldn't exist without the other. But that is that's kind of my point, I guess. Don't separate them, they will be sad. Minecraft's colours have been changing since its very beginning. And with that comes a really cool side effect. They can literally represent time. How cool is that? But why? I think the most intuitive example for this I found to be film and photography. With film and photography, the way an image is made depends on the technological advancement of the time. And because of that, it isn't only what's on the image that serves as a time indicator, it's also the image itself. That's why we can guess that some images must be older than others because some are black and white and some are made in colour. This is an awfully basic example, uh, I don't know anything about photography. With Minecraft, we don't really have technological advancement to estimate the passage of time. It's not like Minecraft screenshots look fundamentally different depending on when they are taken, and taking a screenshot has almost always been on the F2 key. Instead of technological advancement changing the way your images look, in Minecraft, the colours of the actual world are changing. When I noticed these similarities, my mind was kind of blown. Like I thought, that is really cool. That That is really cool. I could have gone down the route of going through Minecraft's entire colour history, but seriously, I thought that would be a bit too much for the two weeks I had to make this video. And in the end, we don't know why Notch chose exactly this green for his grass. One thing I did want to mention though, is Will. In my head, I sort of named this Minecraft's colour pioneer. Because it sounds epic, I think Will was the first time in Minecraft history where they intentionally added colour blocks. And I think the changes over the years are just very interesting. How in classic Minecraft in 2009, it's just sort of very bright and it fits really well with the other colours at the time. Actually, fun fact, coloured wool was lost during the alpha development of Minecraft. They just sort of forgot about it, I guess. In beta, wool made a comeback with new and darker colours. Since classic, the Minecraft world changed so much in terms of vibrancy and brightness that it seemed fitting. In Minecraft 1.2, they were tweaked once more but just a little bit from the beta colours, making them even darker. In 1.12, Wool saw its last major change, making it sort of not too bright and not too dark. Sort of like a mix between classic and beta. I thought talking about this is great and all, but maybe I should just show you with something that you already know. I made these paintings. Minecraft paintings. You, you know the Minecraft paintings, right? I also wanted to represent all the beta colours in some way, so I took some inspiration from this guy called Gnice, who basically made a giant cube sorting all the modern block colours. What he made is also called an RGB colour space. So basically I made the same thing, but in beta and by hand, uh, that's why there might be some mistakes here and there. One thing that both of our cubes have, which led me down a whole nother journey, uh, is this line right here. You see that? This little grey line of blocks is in both of our cubes. To explain this, this line are all the blocks that don't really have hue, so black, grey and white. Because this line was there in both of our cubes, I started wondering what the actual percentages are. Like, how many grey blocks are there compared to non-grey blocks? So then, I had to calculate this myself. Seriously, no one had my question. I was like, whoa, 
only counting full blocks, so everything that isn't a slab or a stair, the percentage of grey blocks in beta Minecraft is about 15%. Beta only has 60 full blocks, of them only 10 are grey. For modern Minecraft 1.20.4, we got about 335 coloured full blocks, and 57 of them are black, white or grey. Even though the amounts changed a lot, the percentages didn't change very much, sitting at around 17%. If my math is correct, that means that Minecraft's grey block percentage has always been around 20%, and if you ask me, for a game with so many colours now, 20% seems like quite a lot. I wanted to ask my friend what he generally thought about colour in Minecraft. We both sort of like to nerd out over things, specifically Minecraft, so I thought it would be interesting to hear what he had to say. So I did what every good friend does and gave him basically no guidelines whatsoever. I don't think I have any real strong opinions about Minecraft's colour usage, and I can appreciate how in newer versions there's so much variety in colour and texture, it's really easy to kind of develop your own building style, but in older versions the lack of variety kind of forced us to get really creative in order to customize things, and it's part of what makes older versions of Minecraft so nostalgic. And I will say that the sheep colors before 1.6 were just better in my opinion. I like how soft the colors are, even though there are less shades. Anyways, that's my two cents. Back to your scheduled program. Whatever he said, the script was written before he sent me his sound file. I've got no idea what he said. It was probably very epic. So what does all of this mean? There's truly no meaning to this video other than I enjoyed making it. I guess my message is just, if you talk about the cubes and the textures, talk about the colours too.